So last week at this time, we had a little storm blow through our area. That little storm being Hurricane Milton. And when Hurricane Milton did make landfall, um, the St. Petersburg area got hit pretty good. In fact, Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, um, had the roof torn off of it. Now, a week later, it begs the question, will Tropicana Field be ready for the 2025 baseball season? Well, the reports are out there, and as we can tell right now, um, in fact, here's a photo of what the roof looks like currently. But I'm pulling from USA Today, Jesse Yamtov put this piece out there this morning, um, borrowing from the Tampa Bay Times. It says here, Tropicana Field roof damage. Ray Stadium won't be ready for 2025 per report. After suffering significant damage during Hurricane Milton, Tropicana Field is unlikely to be ready for the Tampa Bay Rays opening day in March. Opening day for the Rays is March 27th. Now, I can tell you, before that, the Savannah Bananas were scheduled to be in the Tampa, St. Petersburg area, playing at Tropicana Field. I think it's somewhere around March 12th and 13th, so middle of March. I don't see that happening. Tropicana Field's unlikely to be ready for the Tampa Bay Rays opening in March, according to the Tampa Bay Times. Like I just repeated myself, deja vu. Uh, parts of the dome's roof were ripped off during the storm, but the Rays haven't issued public comments since the statement the day after the hurricane hit the Tampa, Tampa St. Petersburg area. Surveying the damage has been an issue due to safety concerns, according to the Tampa Bay Times report, but there are indications of extensive damage elsewhere at the stadium, including team offices that are now open to the elements. So you have to understand that this stadium, once that roof blows off and it's exposed to the elements, there isn't the drainage you have at an open air stadium or even a retractable dome stadium. So not only do you have to take into account the structural damage to the structure of the, the framing of the roof, but how much water damage was done inside the facility. I mean, it says here, extensive damage elsewhere at the stadium, including team offices. So we're talking, what, $100 million, $150, $200 million for repairs? With less than six months until the race scheduled opener, hosting the Colorado Rockies on March 27th, the team will likely have to find a temporary home to at least start the 2025 season. Some possibilities in the region include Steinbrenner Field in Tampa. That's where the Yankees do their spring training. That's the home of the single A team. Uh, you've got the Disney World Sports Complex in Orlando. That's where the Atlanta Braves have their spring training. You've got the Charlotte Sports Complex in Port Charlotte. About 80 miles south of Tropicana Field. You also have the Blue Jays facility in Dunedin, and you've got the Phillies facility in Clearwater. Also possibilities, also where single leg games are played. Any of those venues would require significant upgrades in the coming months in order to host regular season MLB games. Remember the Blue Jays, back during the pandemic, they played their games at the AAA stadium in uh, Buffalo, New York. They had to upgrade the AAA facility to bring it up to MLB um, standards. So it can be done. I don't know how fast a town like Dunedin, where the Blue Jays host spring training, or yeah, where the Blue Jays have spring training, how fast those facilities could be upgraded, so to speak. To host Major League Baseball games. 
The Major League Baseball Players Association is yet to be consulted on the matter. After decades of fighting for a new home, the Rays are scheduled to open in a new St. Petersburg Stadium in 2028, right next door to the TROP, which certainly complicates the impetus to perform significant repairs on Tropicana Field. That's where it go it's going to get really complicated because the longer it takes to do the repairs on Tropicana Field, is it even worth going back to that stadium knowing that you're building a new stadium complex right next door that's due to open in 2028? Not to mention the fact that depending on what it costs, to do the repairs to Tropicana Field, how much is insurance going to cover? Because the lease agreement for the Rays states that the Rays are responsible for all capital costs for repairs or improvements. So that's what complicates this matter even further. It's kind of like when you, when you have an old car. You have an old car, you get into an accident. Is it worth fixing the old car to keep going till you buy a new car? Or is it worth just totaling out the car, getting a check, and buying a new car? That, that's kind of the analogy here. The stadium opened in 1990 as the Florida Suncoast Dome, becoming the Thunderdome from 93 to 96 when the NHL's Tampa Bay Lightning played their home games there. It's been the Rays' home ballpark since the franchise came into existence in 1998. It's a little bit complicated how the fun works for Tropicana Field, but there is insurance on the property, City Administrator Rob Gertis told the Tampa Bay Times. So that's the first thing we'll, we'll be looking at is the property insurance to help make repairs. Contributing to this article is Bob Nightingale. Now, again, this whole situation is going to be really messy for the Rays because, as I stated before, is it going to be a week? into the season till it's ready? Is it going to be a month into the season till it's ready? Is it going to be a year into the season until it's ready? Is it even going to be worth them for them to fix at say 150 to 200 million dollars in in repairs when they know they're going to be moving into a new stadium in 2028? This is from CBS, Diane Perry. Raised Tropicana Field unlikely to be ready for MLB opening day 2025 after hurricane damage per report. This is just basically say, stating the same article from the Tampa Bay Times that USA Today used as a source. Over on X, Tropicana Field will not be ready for opening day on March 27th due to damage sustained during Hurricane Milton. Where the, where the Rays will play in 2025 is TBD, to be determined. Now, some people here are saying, hey, Oakland Coliseum is available. They can play in Oakland. Another couple options um, have been thrown out there, like Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico last hosted an MLB game in 2018. Um... Even Montreal. But I think I, I read a report that there's repairs being done to the roof of Montreal. So I don't think Montreal would work. Uh, this person here says, not a lot of domes in Florida. Only move is to go to minor league complex in Port Charlotte. Well, I don't think that's the only move. I, I, my opinion, if they were going to go to a, a minor league facility to start the season it would either have to be in my opinion either a in Dunedin where the Blue Jays spring training is at as I mentioned earlier in this video or b Steinbrenner Field in Tampa where the Yankees spring training facility is at
<laughs> Give me 15 Florida men, a dozen saw saws, eight dumpsters, some shop vacs, and a 24 hour distraction for OSHA, and I can have you playing baseball there this weekend. <laughs> That's a great comment. That is a great comment. Tear the roof off and run it open. That is not possible. And here's why. As I mentioned before, there's no drainage in that stadium. It's concrete floor, rubber pellets, and turf. There's electrical underneath the floor of the stadium. So that, that just can't happen. It just can't. Besides that, we don't know the extent of the other damage inside the actual stadium itself. Outside of what the Rays said, the damage done to the Rays offices in the stadium. Um, Charlotte for a year, big fan base, good AAA ballpark, still on the East Coast, selling out 12K a year at a AAA field, same as mostly empty trop. That is true. That is true. I've been, been to a couple of Rays games and they're lucky to draw 5,000 fans. In fact, the entire upper deck is usually closed off. Uh, Steinbrenner Fields mentioned here, uh, MLB owners should help repair Tropicana Field so the Rays can play at home. Oakland's off the table. No shot the AL East teams are making cross-country trips for three-game series. Um, so there you have it. It appears right now that the Rays will not be opening the 2025 Major League Baseball season at home at the Trop. And it'll be interesting to see what, first of all, the extent of the damage inside besides the roof, and if there's any damage to the skeleton of the roof, um, and what it's going to cost, and how much is insurance going to cover versus what the Rays are going to have to cover that insurance doesn't. So there you go. This is a, a very, very, very tricky situation for the for the Tampa Bay Rays. So tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. Where, where should the Rays play if they're not able to play at the Trop to begin the MLB season? While you're at it, please take the time to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? It's free. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.